We are celebrating the many years we have spent and hours we have toiled at this institution. I can personally say that I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this place. I mean that quite literally because I'm sure my classmates remember second year when I was rushing to Laos, fell off the catwalk over there, and bust my head. <laughs> then I bled all the way from fees to the medic. Just aside, we all had our fair share of struggles from registration to finals. I know my class can remember the dreaded PCHEM and the fatal parasitology that felt like we were not going to survive. I'm sure we all remember the multiple breakdowns in the middle of the night because you just remembered the assignment was due tomorrow at 8 a.m. or the test you never heard about or worse yet, the test that had nothing you studied for among countless other things. But more importantly, I'm sure we remember the feeling of accomplishment when we finally handed in all of those assignments, somehow passed that one test, or the relief of finishing your final year project. But as graduates of the University of Guyana, we are charged with the responsibility of ensuring this is done right to the expectations we have for our society. We cannot allow ourselves to fall victim to corruption we cannot fall into the trap of nepotism and favoritism. To root out corruption, to root out corruption, we must say no. This is enough. We must say this stops with us. Our infrastructure, equipment, and other resources may not be the same as, say, Cambridge University, yet we churn out quality products year after year. The first step in convincing the rest of Guyana's population about our work is to first believe it ourselves. I would like to congratulate the university on another year of success, and I implore that they continue to take steps forward so that we can achieve even greater heights.